Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a foldable note sheet for the properties of parallelograms. So you need a plain white sheet of standard printer paper. You need some pencils, regular and colored, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the piece of paper in half vertically. Some people call it the hot dog fold. Some people call it the taco fold. I just say fold it. And what you're going to do is you're going to start from the bottom, fold that up to the top. So you're folding that in half. And again, fold from the bottom up to the top to fold that in half. What that does is it divides your piece of paper up into eight writing areas. Like so. Alright. What you're going to do is you're going to start from the right hand side. After you fold it over, start from the right hand side and cut into the middle. Don't cut all the way through, just cut to the middle. Alright. So what that does is it makes four flaps. Picture each of these as a book. So on the top book, we're going to do our first shape, and that's the parallelogram. Remember, this is just for the properties. Alright, so let's open up the book. On the left-hand flap, take our ruler, and we'll draw a parallelogram. Keep those opposite sides parallel and congruent. Alright, parallelogram's got a lot of great properties. The first one is the one that defines it. It's got two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So what we want to do is we want to take a colored pencil, mark it in the shape, top parallel to the bottom, left parallel to the right, and then next to our property, we're just going to make a little color code here. Alright, next property is two pairs of opposite congruent sides. Again, take a colored pencil, mark top and bottom congruent, left side, right side congruent, and we color code it in our property statement. Third property, opposite angles are congruent. All right, so we'll show that by marking these acute angles are congruent. And then the opposite obtuse angles are also congruent. And we color code it again. Third property. Diagonals bisect each other. Alright, so I'm going to take my straight edge and first draw the diagonals. And then I'll mark that they get cut in half by marking each of their halves congruent. And again, mark it over here next to my property statement. And then the final property is that the consecutive angles are supplementary. All right, and the way I'll mark that is I'll show that this angle here, this angle here, add to 180. And again, color code it. So the way you do this is you would just close this up and say, okay, what are the properties of the parallelogram? And you can quiz yourself. And then you have a visual and the statements to follow. Then on the other three flaps, take the second one and do the same thing for the rectangle. Then on the third one, the rhombus, and the fourth flap would be the square. When you're done, you end up with a little study sheet that looks like this. And this is a great little study guide to help you with the properties of the parallelogram, the rhombus, the rectangle, and the square. And you notice what I did was I did not show all the properties of the parallelogram in the three following shapes because I just made a statement that, for example, the rhombus has all the properties of the, rhomb uh, the parallelogram, 
but it has three new properties that I did mark in the picture. Rectangle has all the properties of the parallelogram plus two new properties that I marked. And again with the square, that's got all the properties of the parallelogram, the rhombus, and the rectangle. It's a super quad. It's got it all going on, so I just marked it all. Okay, so take it from there. Good luck.